So it's been a long time that I've been dealing in this cancer journey and treating cancer. You know, I had a vision for the future of cancer treatment, which of course now it seems that we're arriving to this. And this is the idea that you would diagnose the cancer, the cancer being the person's body. Let's say you pick it up on imaging, so maybe a screening scan, or maybe it's picked up by uh, blood testing, like tumor DNA in the blood. If it tests like Grio Gallery, you have some of these like screening MRIs like Pronovo. And then when you identify the cancer, you don't go and disturb it, biopsy it, and then wait a while, and then treat, and do chemo, surgery, all these type of things. We want to be able to treat the person and leave them intact. We want the person that has cancer to be treated and to get over it and be the same as they were before. So the idea is you identify these cancers and you go in with a needle. And with a needle, you treat the cancer. You can do pulse field ablation if you need to, to kill some cancer and stimulate the immune response. You can inject immunotherapies which get the body to recognize the cancer. Of course, now we're getting more and more immunotherapy options. And this that I envision is now really becoming possible. I and mean, this is something that I think that we could start doing with patients where you know we get that initial diagnosis and go on and do a definitive treatment without actually having to do significant damage to the patient. You know, of course with now, you know, lots of the new immunotherapies, you know, we're certainly, you know, Keytruda, Opdivo, the PD1 inhibitors, these were great drugs and, and they're excellent. They're gonna still be used, but now we're getting other things coming along with it. And we're gonna see new new agents, new things. But certainly going to the tumor that is really important. You know, everybody looks at like giving drugs orally or giving drugs intravenously. But where you want to change the immune response is in the cancer itself. And so when you do that and you get the immune system to see it, that's like creating a vaccine. The immune system sees it and attacks the cancer, helps protect that person against the cancer, gets rid of the cancer. And this is a way that we can treat cancer all with needles, not having to cut people, not having to do these other treatments. I mean, of course, you know, there's there's still lots of cases where patients are advanced, you have to do certain things. And, and you know, biopsies, clearly, you know, you need to know what the cancer is, but we need to be smart about how we do these things. We need to do it in a way that we don't disturb the cancer too much and that we're treating quickly. You know, I, I think that, you know, for, for me, if I had an option a patient, if I see a lesion that I think is suspicious, I would biopsy it, but I would treat it at the same time. I would find out, okay, is this cancer right now? Let's treat it, let's not, biopsy, wait a few weeks, find out, you know, that's that's how things are going. And that's what we're trying to do, and that's what we're hoping to bring as a, sort of the new, you know, current cancer care. And I think, you know, this is where things are going. Now, clearly, you know, we have other areas that are working to boost the, the response. I mean, we have lots of off-label drugs. There's lots of medications that are available out there that have been available for a long time that can enhance the cancer immune response. I mean, monoamine oxidase inhibitors, very old antidepressant, super impressive what they're doing to enhance immunotherapy. Um, drugs like propranolol, blood pressure medicine. Um, clearly, then you've got the microbiome and you've got where you can do certain things to manipulate and feed the microbiome. There's certain supplementation. And of course, for people whose microbiome maybe is not very good at all, you know, you've got drugs like Rebiota, though it's, you know, for C. difficile infection, you can use it in those cases to repopulate the patient's microbiome. So these are all like great options. So, you know, the treatment for cancer is really changing. We're getting advanced. It's gonna be now where everything's all image guided, all through needles, all done small. I mean, people think of laparoscopic surgery, but needles much smaller than that. And that's, and that's the future of cancer treatment. And that's what we're trying to bring to people now.